What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today I'm coming at you with a video on how to dial in your espresso to your personal taste. So this is something I do pretty regularly, I get a lot of coffee as gifts, and this one is no different. So I got this Kona coffee from my mom, thanks mom, and basically that coffee is a little bit darker than I usually go. The flavor profile for Kona is just a little bit more standard coffee, uh, so it's definitely not as fruity or as floral or as acidic as what I usually aim for. So what I wanted to show you is two shots side by side. I'm going to pull a standard espresso shot, which is a 1 to 2 ratio, so I'm doing 18 grams in and shooting for about 36 to 38 grams out. And that shot is going to be fully extracted. I'm going to pull all the flavors out. Um, and sometimes these shots are great, sometimes they're not. So what I want to do is taste this next to a ristretto shot and kind of gauge those two side by side. So if you aren't familiar, a ristretto shot is basically means restricted. So I'm going to dial in a little bit finer. The shot's going to run significantly longer. And basically what's going to happen is I'm only going to pull flavors out of certain parts. As long as you're not, you know, under extracting the coffee, you should be able to pull a very sweet, a very like syrupy shot with a ristretto, but you do have to do some toying around to find the sweet spot. So what I'm doing with this coffee here is I'm going to do 18 grams in, just like the longer shot, 18 grams out. So a one to one espresso. So it's going to be much thicker and basically going to be a really sweet and going to have a lot of those flavors that come through on the standard espresso but in my mind should be missing some of the things I don't like. So it should be a little bit higher acidity and it should lose a little bit of that bitterness. So let's find out. So immediately you can see the difference between the volumes of these two shots. Obviously the one on the left is a standard espresso, the one on the right is a ristretto. Uh, literally the espresso is double what the estretto is and you know tasting the espresso you'll notice it's a little more thin there's obviously more water to it plus the flavors are more spread out so you get more nuanced flavors from the Kona uh, but I do taste the hint of roast and I have a little more bitterness than I want and not much acidity so in the ristretto you know it's not quite as balanced overall of a shot but it also has a much more sweetness a lot more acidity and I just really like the mouthfeel of ristretto it's like drinking kind of like a thin syrup so that's generally what I went for on this shot through the week of drinking this coffee so let me know if you have any questions this is always a fun experiment to do if you have a coffee that you're enjoying or a coffee that maybe you wouldn't normally drink check it out try these two coffees side by side see which one you prefer and as always thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe Follow me on Instagram at Prometheus, the blog at Prometheus.com, putting out new videos every Friday, and as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.